Alexander Stoop. Um, thank you for coming here to open up Founders Week and um, looking forward to hear what you have to say. I think this place is creating a completely new buzz. I think, uh, sort of, in my mind, we're breaking a taboo which you were not supposed to be doing in the olden days. There are many reasons why I love this place. The first one is that you guys are, in many ways, creating a new business entrepreneur culture uh, in Finland. We haven't had anything like this. It wasn't sort of cool to have big ideas, have lots of energy, and come up uh, with companies. So I've been coming to Helsinki quite a bit over the last uh, year or so. And there's a lot of hype actually about other pockets around the world and, and you know, Berlin here in Europe and Singapore and, uh, and Shanghai, the Valley, New York. But actually I think Helsinki is one of the few undiscovered uh, gems in the, in the tech industry. And so at, at DFJ we've been hugely excited about uh, some of the technologies and, and the teams we've seen spinning out of larger companies like Nokia and, and, uh, and other early stage interesting deals. So we've, uh, we've been coming up here because we think it's probably the next big uh, city for technology startup investing and we want to be a part of that. Basically, uh, it's a question of mentality, it's a question of attitude. Uh, you have to have the infrastructure working for you as well. Uh, and I think these guys are doing it right now. So, you know, we're trying to take a space which basically needs to be filled in Europe uh, and we're doing it quite well. But of course there are sort of competing cities like for instance Berlin, to a certain extent perhaps Stockholm, but that's a little bit last decade to be quite honest. Can Helsinki be a startup hub? It's always hard for a small, smaller country. Uh, to attract an international talent, but absolutely. You guys have some of the best engineers and technical talent, and you have the heritage of uh, the MySQL and the Linux, and even Nokia and the, the, the deeper tech side on the wireless side. To be kind of like a hub, you have to have the activity, and I think that uh, what we're seeing now here in, in Helsinki around uh, the startup sauna is uh, absolutely fantastic. So I, I think that that's a very, very good start, and it's all about bringing the right people uh, together and then uh, you know get them work together exchange ideas as we're seeing now here at this um, this week uh, so I think that uh, you know it's a good start I think you get all the people it doesn't have to be a physical space you don't need more buildings you need more people right that are willing to do stuff um, smart creative people people that are motivated um, financial resources to go out there and execute on the vision and people that think big. I don't really think that Europe needs a startup hub or that there is going to be one startup hub in Europe um, just because many people probably compare it to the Silicon Valley um, and I think it's it's very different in Europe because you don't need to have one place where everybody comes like in Silicon Valley um, because Europe is so small and everything is so close to each other like every location is just like a one hour flight away um, and you can go there in the morning you can go back in the evening uh, I don't really care uh, you know if Helsinki is leading or you know some other places the leading uh, startup hub whatever that kind of means in the end I think that uh, as long as we deliver startups that deliver amazing re results and uh, uh, also uh, provide amazing returns to the investors then you know like we're we're on the right track Uh, we just filled in two pieces. One was to uh, facilitate uh, angel investors uh, entry to the market by giving them tax breaks and the other one is uh, for small and medium sized companies uh, to put in more investments. So in that sense I think we've done quite a lot. On the visa side we need to do a bit more. I think that there are always missing pieces but I, I wouldn't worry too much about uh, kind of like what's missing and, and what, uh, what not but I, I think that it's all about uh, the attitude and the ambition so it's just uh, you know meeting with uh, people from uh, from the valley from uh, you know other hubs that you know they uh, they eat the same breakfast they eat the same food they uh, you know uh, do the same thing so it's there's no kind of like special you know magic source or anything like that but it really is about Kind of having the, the right attitude and getting stuff done. Wish you the best of luck uh, for the Founders Week. I think it's extremely exciting. I hope that a lot of good things will come out of it. And the best thing is that you guys just keep the buzz up, keep the energy up. And the classic scene, of course, is that if 10% of you succeed, uh, then we've all done uh, extremely well.